What is up, comic fam? Yeah. Welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark. And then me. That's Finn. He says, hey. And we're here to do Body. boxes. That's right. We got boxes and uh, also a review for Calico number two. But before we do all of that, check this out. Before we go any farther, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And uh, mm -hmm. be sure to go back and check the 800 subscriber double giveaway video I posted yesterday. There's a lot of prizes, a lot of cool stuff, and showcase a lot of channels in that video. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out LOC Pops Attic on Instagram. If you're looking to buy any books, feel free to message the page directly and ask uh, if you're looking for anything in particular. Books are being added daily to that. There's thousands to go. And if you haven't already, tell your friends to come check out the channel. I do live streams yeah. multiple times a week. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, have a blast hanging out with everybody and talking comics. Go ahead and let them know that fandom happens here and they don't want to miss out. Really have a blast. So, like I said, we have a review for Calico 2 as well as some boxes to open. And... Uh, The books to show off that I didn't get in the mail. I want to show these off because good stuff it's about. I'm not even going to show them off. I'll just let the other person show those off. One more. So, yeah, real quick, Finn, let's tell them about Calico number two. You want to? Uh huh. So. Let me see if I can get this in here real quick. So we are going to be talking. So the great people over at Sigma Comics have this book yep. called Calico. Uh, here Comes Calico. And it is about a vigilante, an anti-hero that exacts extreme justice on people that cause harm to animals. And I have uh, reviewed the first one, and they were kind enough to send me issue number two, and I did just read it. And it was really cool. It was uh, kind of just kept in the same vein as the first one, except we get a little bit more on our main character. We see him like uh, kind of see his his stomping ground, his home turf. And you, you get to see him working in his neighborhood as just a regular guy and his interactions with all the uh, all the other tenants in his area. And he's kind of see how he's linked in with them and everything. It was pretty cool. And uh, we also get to see him go out and uh, that thing. I don't want to spoil it, but. They kind of pull from some kind of famous uh, famous video footage, but it was cool kind of getting to see him like outside of the suit a little bit. I'll tell you what, when he hit this scene right here with he jumped in his suit, I was absolutely pumped because I was ready to see him uh, do what he did in that last issue. And it did not disappoint. It did a good a little bit of a character building in this one. We still haven't got that origin necessarily uh, that I'm waiting to see yet, but uh, it still got me hooked, still got me excited. So if you guys uh, want to check it out, be sure to go check out Sigma Comics. And, um, yeah, check out Here Comes Calico, number two. All right, Finn, let's get into these boxes. Hop in your hop in your captain's chair. So the first one was an A-OK -okay from Jason over at Slotted Up 503. Uh, I forget what book it was. But it was one that he got his hands on, numerous copies of it. So one's an a uh, a okay from Jason, one's an a okay from New Guy of the Cosmic Campfire, and one is a prize winning from Pulp Fiction. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. Now we're talking. Got that slotted up sticker. You want to put it on you? And Jason is a proud member of hashtag Team Pull Tabs. So the book that we have in here is one that he said was really good. And oh, cool! It's a square bound. It's a book called Parallel. I know nothing about this book, but he was excited to share it out into the community for people to read. So I'll definitely be reading this the first chance I get. And uh, Justin Birch is the letters on it, which is really cool. You get to see him hanging out on Two Brothers Comics all the time. So that's awesome. Where'd it go? Under there. There it is. 
Well, thank you so much, Jason. <laughs> Slotted up 503. Where are you going with my sticker? Right. Let's just set it up here. We'll put it with our other stickers. You want to see what Ryan sent us? So Ryan was kind enough to mail in a uh, comic shield, which is awesome. These are some of my favorite ways to uh, mail something. These awesome clam clamshell majigger bobs. Ready, Finn? Let's open this bad boy up. We got a note. It says, Mark, so grateful for your friendship. Hope you enjoy these books. I cannot wait to see you open this on the channel. Hashtag, we are legion. Hashtag, we are legion. That's right. Hashtag, fandom happens here from Ryan. Well, thank you so much, my dude. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Oh, I sent Ryan my my uh, my copy of this. And he, he must have found one and sent one right back. But this is that awesome Jolie Jones cover for Wonder Girl issue one. But this is the DC Connect and Order catalog. And the one I sent Ryan, he actually framed up and he showed me the picture of it. When I saw it, I told him I immediately regretted sending it to him because that's fantastic. Like, that is such a cool cover. And these things don't hold any inherent value, you know, but they're absolutely awesome to get to see the covers blown up. All right. Oh, <laughs> yes. We got some Rick and Morty goodness. Oh, that's cool. This is a show that I was late to the game on, but with HBO Max having it all on there, I binge watched it all. I mean, I didn't watch anything else until I watched all of it. I one episode in, and it was over with. So, uh, not sure what. Okay, it's issue number 58. So, that's Rick and Morty, issue number 58. Oh, it falls slow, doesn't it? We got Gambit number two, my favorite X-Men. You see all, all that Gambit goodness up here. Then we, holy snap, crackle pop. Oh, dang. So we have, let me start here. We have Bitter Root Volume 1. So Ryan's been singing this book's praises. You know, it's got an option. Uh, yeah, I forget who's attached to it already. There's a big name already attached to it. But uh, issue 13 just came out. And this is the first volume. And then this is the uh, one shot that they did after that first volume, which was Red Summer Special. So I'm going to be jumping into this like ASAP. Dude, thank you so much, dude. That is awesome. So looks like. Looks like I'm on the bitter root train now. Happy to be on it. Dude, that is awesome. That's good stuff, man. I appreciate it so much. I'm going to be reading that really quick, too. I'm going to tickle you. Better quit banging on that table. All right, let's see what we have in here from Tulp Fiction. So he did a little giveaway contest on his Instagram page. And uh, he put up a picture, and a not a high-definition picture, was not high-resolution at all, of about 50 hero clips just cluttered together on a table. And he said, whoever can guess all of these characters correctly wins a prize. And I kid you not, I spent the next two and a half hours of my life from the moment that I saw that post, I got them all, uh, finding it out. I knew a lot of them. I could uh, recognize a lot of them. I could figure out the ones I couldn't. And... Uh, it took a while to find a couple of rare ones that were actually on there, but I did it. I might have reached out to the local gaming community here in Augusta, but uh, let's see what the prize was. You ready to see what's in here, Finn? You ready to see what's in here, Finn? Because we have to get it open. Because we have to see what's in here. So let's see what Mr. Cho. Oh, oh, Superman. That's right. We have Superman, the great Superman movie book. Look at that. That's super cool. Let me open it. 
the secret story of Marvel's gamma-powered Goliath. Now, amaze your friends. Stun them with your vast knowledge of little-known facts. All there is to know about your favorite comic book heroes will be revealed to you in these remarkable books. So then we have this incredible Hulk that's from Craft Ideals. So this is really cool. It's like it's a little compendium. It looks like it has the first couple of notes. Let's see what's included in it. Let's see. Library of Congress catalog and publication data. Craft David Anthony, the Incredible Hulk. Discusses the origin of the comic strip character Bruce Banner, who, when faced with danger or emotional stress, changes into the Hulk. Includes several examples of his adventures. One Hulk comic strip, uh, cartoon comics, adventure comics. So it's just a, a compilation of different stuff. So this is fantastic. Another little cool knickknack here. This is really cool. Oh, go back. This is for you, Remiki Studios. Thor about to bring down the hammer and Hulk just catches it, crunch. Catches the hammer and just destroys it, squeezes it. So that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mike. This is really cool. A little bit of Hulk and Superman goodness. You cannot beat that. Let's take a look at this real quick. Oh my God. Look at that. Like that. That is Superman. And who's that? That's right. Superman. And there's the book that started it all. But yeah, that's it for this video, I think. Be sure to check out Sigma Comics. Take a look at Palico. Uh, go follow uh, the Cosmic Campfire. We opened it. That one, that one. We opened it. This is what Ryan sent us. Remember? But go follow the Cosmic Campfire. Uh, go back and look at my video from yesterday. It's the 800 subscriber double giveaway. It's also a Grow Together uh, giveaway video as well. So there's a lot in there. A lot of channels that I spotlighted that uh, if you go follow those channels and comment under the videos that I linked in the description, uh, hashtag We Are Legion on those videos, it can enter you into a giveaway as well as going back to my giveaway from yesterday. Just watch it. There's a hashtag that you can drop in the comments of my video to be entered into my 800 subscriber giveaway. So appreciate everyone watching. Hit that thumbs up. And as always, I'm Mark. He's Finn. And we are Legion.